So you've standardized on an infrastructure as code workflow using Terraform for all of your cloud provisioning. But what happens when something changes outside that workflow? How do you know it happened and how do you fix it? This situation is known as infrastructure drift. And in this video, I'll show you how Terraform Cloud makes it simple to detect and remediate drift. Here I have a workspace in Terraform Cloud with some resources being managed. As of the last run, everything looks great. But what happens if something changes outside of Terraform? This might happen for a few reasons. A cloud admin who hasn't been trained on the correct process, a simple mistake, uh, or maybe some changes made during an outage or incident response scenario when you're just trying to get things working quickly again. Luckily, I've enabled health assessments on this workspace. As you can see, it's just a simple toggle on the workspace settings to turn this on. You can do this either per workspace like I've done it here, or you can enable it for all of the workspaces in your organization from your organization settings. Here in the workspace notification settings, we can also create notifications using email, Slack, Microsoft Teams, or custom webhooks to set up proactive notifications when drift is detected. Assessments run automatically in the background, and you can also trigger one immediately, which I'll do right now. Once the assessment completes, we can see that some drift has been identified. These are some changes I made earlier in the AWS console. For each drifted resource, we see what has changed and what actions Terraform would take to bring the drift back in line. In this case, it looks like we've had a security group rule go missing because Terraform is telling us that it needs to be re-added. And there've also been some attribute changes on the AWS instance, like the instance type has been changed from T3 micro to a T3 large. Now at this point, we have a choice. We can revert the drift by reapplying the desired configuration, or we can accept the drift by updating the code to match and refreshing the workspace state. In this case, I'll start a new plan and apply run to revert the drift to my expected state. Terraform Cloud also makes it easy to find all of your drifted workspaces. Here in the all workspaces list, you can filter based on health status. Or we can go into the Explorer view and check out the pre-built drifted workspaces view. To learn more about managing drift, check out the Terraform Cloud documentation and our tutorials at developer.hashicorp.com and head on over to hashicorp.com slash cloud to get started with your free trial. Thanks for watching.